Hello everybody, Lisa Strickland here. How are you today? Now today we're going to talk about four foods to avoid when you have arthritis. Now I was diagnosed with arthritis when I was 17, 18, so I understand exactly what we need to look at when we are dealing with joint issues because I've had that journey for the last 30 odd years. So really important to look at your food. Now what you put in your mouth is such an important part of who we are. And when we're dealing with arthritis, it is what, what inflames your body first and foremost is what we're actually putting into our mouth and digesting. So really need to look at our food and how it is impacting our body. So the first thing to look at when we're dealing with arthritis and foods is your intake of sugar. Now sugar is really, really inflammatory. It triggers everything pretty much when you're dealing with body inflammation. So it is an area where we need to be uh, looking at the things that we're eating. So unfortunately, a high majority of what you're buying in the supermarket has sugar in it. There is only really a, a small amount looking at your fruits and vegetables and your meats and things like that that actually don't have sugar in them. Unfortunately, we have had, and things are slowly changing, that whole mentality of putting sugar in things instead of fats. And unfortunately, th that sugar content is what really irritates our joints and, and creates inflammation in our body. So really need to stay away from sugar and sugary treats. So number two is fried and processed foods. Now high fried foods and processed foods are really going to irritate your arthritis. It's um, unfortunate because we all like uh, a nice hot chip here and there, but unfortunately uh, having those temperatures and the oil at those temperatures creates a lot of toxicity for our body and really, really is um, very detrimental to us when we are suffering with any joint issues um, in regards to any pain or any arth arthritic issues. So looking at um, processed foods, you there have, again, a lot of sugar in processed foods and other, other bad fats that um, they are putting in to make things taste so good which is why we like to eat them, but unfortunately, they aren't so good for us. So again, we need to sort of go to the edge of the supermarket areas and head towards the um, fruits and vegetables and the meat section. So looking at those sort of things. So unfortunately, you know, it reduces, we need to reduce our body inflammation and those things just don't work for us. Okay, now another thing when you have any joint issues and arthritis is dairy products. And I can hear a few people going, oh, in the background. But unfortunately, dairy products do uh, cause a lot of inflammation. You know, the protein in dairy actually irritates the tissue around our joints. So we need to reduce the amount of dairy that we're eating and, and try and just completely take it out of your diet. Now I can tell you as somebody that doesn't eat any dairy products at all anymore, that it is really easy. Food is all about habit, you know? So once you get and you break that habit, you will find that it is a lot easier to either take it out completely or change it instead of having dairy products. You know, you've got almond milks and you've got soy milks and you've got oat milks. There's, there's so many different things now on the market that you can use instead of using dairy products that will actually assist you with your joints and help you to not have the pain and the inflammation that you're dealing with on a daily basis when you're eating a lot of dairy products. Okay, so number four is gluten. And unfortunately, gluten is found in a lot of in breads and pastas and um, some noodles, you can get lovely rice noodles. So there is uh, that side of things as well. Now, having a look at um, breads, you can get some really nice gluten-free breads now. 
that you can supplement instead and if you go to you know a lot of markets and things like that you will find you know where I go to the markets is a great guy there who does really good gluten-free breads so you can um, go and find these sort of people that can assist you and there are gluten-free um, breads in the supermarket you know they're not too bad you just find the one that you like but if you can try and stay away from glutinous products. So if you're looking at soy sauces, that's fine. You can find soy sauces that are gluten free. You can find tamaris, which are a type of, of soy sauce, which are gluten free. So there's lots of gluten free options these days. But do be very aware that you need to also keep an eye on that sugar content because unfortunately um, the word gluten free seems to mean that people can put more sugar in things to supplement that loss of gluten. So just keep an eye on those products and make sure that you're not actually supplementing one bad thing for the other. So gluten free um, and staying away from gluten is number four. So going through that we have number one is sugar, number two is fried and processed foods, number three dairy products and number four, gluten. Now, when you're looking at all those things and trying to eliminate them out of your diet, think about starting to use a diary. A food diary is a great way of assisting you to be able to really look and hone down on what is triggering your arthritis. Okay, so as you start to eliminate things out, you will be able to really understand your body and as you detox from these things, you will see what triggers you and what doesn't. So you can go back through and if you've taken something out and you have no difference, then pop it back in and take something else out. But these are all the things that I can teach you on my six week to reducing body inflammation program. Now this program is full of really great foods, that and we get you get all your recipes so you don't even have to think about what you're putting in your mouth okay so this program will assist you to detox off of all the things that are creating problems and inflammation in your body so really think about it if you are having any issues this is what I'm here for I'm here to assist you and help you further so please reach out to me but those are the four things that trigger arthritic issues so really look at those and try and eliminate them out of your diet and see how you go. And for further information, please don't hesitate to contact me. Take care.